Good evening, uh, you YouTube viewers and Facebook viewers and family and friends and whoever may be listening, uh, who may have tuned into my channel. Uh, I am Sister Catherine Myers, and I come to you from my prayer channel. As I've said in the past, this is a channel of sacred prayer where I come before the Lord on your behalf uh, and to pray on various topics and again if there's any if there's any uh sickness or disease or any topic you would have me to pray for you please uh comment below and i'll be very happy and honored to do that uh, my my goal and my intent is this just to be a vessel in the hand of the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to pray for His children, and as I, as I as from the first time that I came before you, I told you about my experience with high blood pressure and how how God has healed me, and He is continuing to heal me. It's been about three and a half week, almost four weeks now, and my blood pressure is still very stable. I am a living witness that prayer changes things, and so. I present myself to you as a vessel, as a child in God's hand, a, a minister to heal, to pray for your healing and your deliverance and any kind of sickness or disease you may find yourself facing at this time. And before we get started with the prayer, I want to remind you again of my book, which is Dare Not Think, Entering Silence, The Church Without Walls. You'll find it on Amazon.com, I'm sorry, Amazon.com or Kindle. Dare not think. Entering silence, the church without walls. And also, again, for anybody in the Vancouver, Washington area, I am in the process of doing the paperwork and looking for a, play, a home for the new uh, Love's Voice food bank, which is coming soon. My prayer that is that it will be open the week of uh, Thanksgiving so that we'll be ready to give out food baskets. But uh, we're just going to put keep it in God's hand. I'm going to do the work that he's, he, as the Holy Spirit guides. And if it's open by then, then so it is. If I have uh, 10 bas baskets to give out, that's what I'll give out. But wherever God, uh, whatever place I'm in at that time, I'm just going to allow God to lead and guide me and to provide because the truth, because God is our source and provider. And I trust him that this is his will and that it is the Holy Spirit, the comforter's guiding that uh, love's voice food bank be opened. And I know he's going to lead me all the way and that he will provide. I trust him with all my heart. And I'm standing on his word. I'm standing by faith. I, I'm walking by faith and not by sight. And I trust him with all of my heart. Like I said, uh, I love the scripture where it said, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. And that's where I stand now. At this time in my life, in my life experience, with all that I have been through, with all that God has brought me through, I believe God and therefore it is accounted to me for righteousness and with that being said tonight uh, I have uh, the Lord has led me to pray for persons facing any kind of lung disease diseases of the lung I, I looked up a few of them didn't realize it was so many I'm gonna name a few but even if your disease is not named in here you still claim your healing uh, but I'm going to, uh, in particular, any kind of respiratory disease, COPD, lung cancer, pulmonary embolism, emphysema, bronchitis, acute respiratory distress syndrome, asthma, pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, and uh, something called pleural infusion. I've never even heard of that one. And interstitial testicle, intertestinal, whatever that is, again, 
lung disease and excuse me for not pronouncing it right i'm not very good at these medical terms i think they make them up on purpose just for lay people so they can laugh at lay persons because i even with the medications some of the names that i have on my medication i uh I just spell it out to them because I cannot pronounce them. So anyway, just any kind of disease of the lung, a respiratory disease, that's where uh, the comfort of the Holy Spirit is leading me to pray. And uh, I just want to remind you that uh, remember that there's a part that God plays, there's a part that the doctors plays, and there's a part that we play. I am a living witness that it's been, I would say I started about, uh, well I had did it before uh, last year, at the end of my birthday last year, uh, for as uh, starting like a health, uh, started on some health food. I wasn't satisfied with uh, always feeling sick and diseased, so I had started like just do eating nothing but drinking smoothies that's when i first started just uh eating a lot of healthy food but i had gotten away from it and then i started again this last february of uh, being very careful about what i put in my mouth eliminating all sugars there is and it's it's almost it really is almost impossible to get because it's so integral and interwoven in everything that we eat now the sugar so but as far as white sugar, I don't buy it anymore, flour, anything that can turn itself into sugar. I do my best to avoid uh, any kind of breads or starches, anything that can uh, transform itself into sugar when it's eaten and dissolved into our body. So I'm just making better choices and I'm eating a lot of healthy fruits and vegetables, lots of vegetables. I do a lot of smoothies, fruit and, and vegetable smoothies also. And I take uh, vitamins and uh, uh, supplements and each day I'm feeling better and better. So me putting the right things into this body, which is the temple of the living God, because God has designed our bodies to heal themselves. Remember I said that. Our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made. So if we put the right ingredients inside these holy vessels, God's holy vessels that he created, they they will heal themselves but if you already find find yourself in a sickness like i did three weeks ago when i was in that hospital and i told you i was crying out to god because i had done all i know to do and when you've done all you know to do uh anybody who who have any even a, a slight relationship with god knows that when you've reached your end and you've done all you know to do you seek his face and he answers because he loves us. God loves us so much. And it is not his will that we walk around and be defeated by sickness and disease. He came that we might have life and we might have it more abundantly. And you know, uh, with his stripes, with Jesus' stripes, we are already healed. He sent his word. He sent his word and healed our disease, and by his stripes we are already healed. But there's a part we each have to play. So if you already found yourself, find yourself in a sickness, in sicknesses, and I'm not completely done yet, because I'm feeling better now. It's been three months, but I told you my goal from the time that I started this three weeks ago into this time next year, I want to be off every single one of these medications my goal is to walk in a state of divine health and by the grace of God and believing God and eating the right things and filling this temple with the stuff that God created live a lot food that's alive putting a food that's alive in this live living body and temple uh, green food all different colorful foods Foods that's alive, that's been planted, that's that that's that growing and that will come in and feed and nurture our body and make us whole again. We don't have to be defeated by sickness and disease. And the saddest part about this 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 time in our lives is that uh, the Christians who sit in church every day are just as sick.
as people who have never even known anything about the things of God, who have never even sat in a in in a church before who never even picked up a bible we're just as sick we're just we go to the doctors just as much as anybody else you know and the in the bible and if god wanted to sick he wouldn't have said for us to call on the, the uh the um elders of the church that the sick may be healed why would we be walking around trying to heal us and telling the, the church telling us to go to the elders of the church that he that they may lay hands on the sick and that the sick may, may be healed why would Jesus spend so much time in his ministry praying and healing the sick if it was God's will for us to just be sick and just lay down and die? It was, it was never God's intention that this body be filled with disease and sickness and die. Never. There is only life. God came that we might have life. And that we might have it more abundant. That's abundant health, abundant wealth, and abundant love. And since our topic is on sickness today, this is the topic that I'm going to pray about. We're going to pray about all kind of sicknesses and diseases of the lungs. So if you know anybody who may be suffering from any kind of lung disease, whether it be, CO, like I said, COPD, or uh, pneumonia, or uh, bronchitis, or uh, pulmonary embolism, lung cancer, any kind of sickness, asthma, any kind of sickness or disease of the lungs. Call them right now because God has come that you, that you may be healed. It is his will that you may be healed and made whole again. And go ahead and turn everything off. We're going to give God his time. We're going to seek his face. And we know before we, while we are yet praying, he will answer. All you, your job is only to receive. He said, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. So right now we come in before the throne of grace because it's grace. It's not because we've been good enough or that we did all the right things or we prayed all the right prayers or we went to church every Sunday, that we went to Sunday school every Sunday. It's by grace and grace alone that we are saved. And, it is, and his grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient. So you come and just ask your father, fall before his face, seek his face, and he'll answer, for his grace is sufficient. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, I come before you on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday night. Father, I seek your face. I seek your face for your children, for any one of your children right now. And I don't have to know the names, Father, because you know the names. You know every one. You know them so well that you took the time to number the very hairs of their heads. And not one string of hair falls to the ground without your knowledge. So you know even before the beginning of time, you knew that this hour that you would call me, your child, to work in the service of healing, to be a vessel. And I'm not the healer. I'm just being used as a vessel in the hand of the Almighty God, who is the healer, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God. The power behind the healing ministry. Just like you were the power behind Jesus' miracles and, and ministry and healing and any other miracles that Jesus performed. You are the power behind any word or any miracle or anything that happens in this ministry which is ordained by God. And it is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that breaks the yoke of sickness and disease. So, Father, right now, I present my body a living witness to be used for your glory. And I ask right now, Father, in the Christ name, in Jesus' name, the Messiah, that you heal your children, no matter what disease of the lungs they may be suffering to, through, whether it be asthma, 
or lung cancer, or COPD, or emphysema, or bronchitis, or all the other numerous lung disease, pneumonia, no matter what it is, Father. I speak life, I speak healing, and I speak wholeness to the lungs right now. I say that in the Christ name, in Jesus name, the Messiah, that they are healed, they are delivered, and they are free, totally restored. I say that in the name of Jesus and by the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit, the, I call forth the anointing, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to come forth and fill me for your presence makes us whole spirit of the most high god it is your presence that makes us whole and i speak healing let none of my words fall to the ground holy spirit i ask that you go forth and that that your power and your authority and your presence catch hold of that word that it may accomplish the purpose and thing for which it was sent and I speak life to those lungs right now just as you father when Adam was formed just as you breathe the breath of life into Adam's nostrils and he came to life right now in the power and authority and the anointing of the Holy Spirit I breathe the breath of life into the lungs of every person that who may be who their lungs may be filled with sickness and disease and as I breathe the breath of life as an instrument in your hand and in your stead Lord Jesus as your child and your vessel Holy Spirit that as I breathe the breath of life they will be healed and made whole brand new lungs totally restored i declare it done in the christ's name receive the healing from the holy spirit of brand new lungs in the christ's name <sighs> mm-hmm. i declare it done i declare it done i declare it done be whole be healed and be delivered in Jesus name for God came that we might have life and that we may have it more abundantly and I thank you father that they have brand new lungs and that they can breathe easy now when they go back to the doctor they'll have a new report when you ask whose report Well, we believe, we shall believe the report of the Lord saying that your child is healed, your child is delivered, and your child is free. For he who the Son has set free is free indeed. And I thank you for it, Father. I thank you for the brand new loans. I thank you for the brand new loans. Totally, totally restored and healed lungs from this day forth and throughout all eternity I thank you that it is done it is done it is done in Jesus the Christ son of the living God's name thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit Spirit of the living God for your presence makes us whole Amen, amen, and amen. Children of the living God, just remember who you are. Just remember who you are and whose you are. You know the word says that, know ye not that ye are gods? Do you understand what that means? Know ye not that ye are gods. What that means for you and for me and for anybody else is that because you are gods, 
you are made in the image and likeness of your creator. And just like your creator God spoke the worlds into existence by the power of his mouth, we too, as gods, just as God said we are, know ye not that ye are gods, we too speak our life experiences forth by the power of our tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Speak words of life. Speak words of life. Speak words of life. We have a choice. We can speak life or we can speak death. There are two roads. One leads to life. One leads to death. And even God went further to say, choose ye life. He gave us a hint. <laughs> Come on, wake up. He gave us a hint. He said one road leads to life and one road leads to death. Choose ye life. And that's the word I'm going to leave with you tonight. Choose ye life. And that's concerning any area of your life. Whether it be sickness and, and disease. Whether it be anything going on on your job. Whether it be anything going on in your mind and your heart. Whether it be your finances. No matter what it is. Choose ye life. Do whatever it takes. Go in that word and find some words of life and speak over your circumstance. It doesn't matter if up to this time you have been speaking negative, bad words or words of debt over your situation. Right now, in this moment, now is the time. Today is the day of your salvation. From this moment forward, you can stop it and turn it around and choose to speak life and just do it every day. And believe me, there is going to be challenges because this is something you have spoken maybe from the time you were born. So yes, there's going to be resistance, but just speak through it. Just keep on going no matter what. Just keep speaking words of life no matter what. Don't even worry about what you see. Just speak words of life. Become a little Jesus. Tell the enemy it is written. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Choose ye life. Thank you, YouTube followers, Facebook followers, friends and family, and anyone who may have come across this prayer channel. I speak the words of life and love and blessings and healing over your life, over your children's children's lives throughout all generations. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Love, life, and blessings until we come together as one again. Good night, Sister Catherine Myers. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you.